Hey guys, I had a video I was going to put out earlier, and it was literally giving thanks, and and uh, we had a terrible day today, and I want to give thanks for all the terribleness I had. Uh, uh, we had a multitude of things, but that pales in comparison with what I just saw. Uh, uh, with a young friend of ours, Kirk. Kirk, I, I'm sure this was the last match you just had. Please come on here and correct me if I'm wrong, but everything technically I'm going to say will be spot on whether this thing uh, was passed, but I don't believe it can because you were in the, uh, the Junior Olympic matches is what it had up there at the heading so yeah i think it would have to be recent your last match and i want to tell you we just sat here and we watched that and let me tell you something you won that first and you won that third round uh the second the 10-9 against you uh was real but you won that first and you won that third round uh in the first and the third rounds, you were busier. Uh, you were getting uh, clinched where the referee was having to warn the other guy. And you were getting clinched because you were hitting harder. And uh, that boy was a hard hitter. You stood up through it. Um, that kid got you one good time in the stomach. You regrouped and you let him have two punches to the one. And uh, Joe, could you do me a favor, please, son? Grab me a pair of boxing gloves. All right, we're, we're going to go to Amateur Boxing 101 here, folks. Uh, Joe's getting me a boxing glove. It's obvious because I just watched, I believe it was Saturday. Uh, maybe it, had, it was last Friday. USA's Boxing, the big seminar they have. And the, I, well, if you would have got me the white ones, it would have been better. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, they just had the seminar and they were just complaining about this same crap and folks look you go watch a uh, just bear with me for a second for those of you that won't go look I'm going to show you something uh, or maybe you don't know where to go look Amateur boxing used to be way more simple to judge, and it used to be judged better up until you got in the Olympics. If you were in a host country, uh, they'd try to go for their people over the others. And we had several situations where that was very flagrant, such as the Roy Jones Jr. incident in South Korea, where Roy Jones Jr. beat the other kid handily all three rounds. And... Uh, and lost. But this is just going on in local tournaments. I mean, it's just going on everywhere in amateur boxing. I'm going to show you something. It's going to be rudimentary, but I hope you look at it, folks. See this right here? Used to be something similar to this on the gloves. I had them when I was a kid. And they're called amateur boxing gloves for a reason. Well, what would the white be on there? The white is the strike zone on here. And when you hit somebody, generally it was up further, but it would show you the strike zone. I'm kind of close here. And it, it would show where you know, if you're striking with this, it's not a point. Uh, and when you're strike, if, if you're hitting with this, it's not a point. Where, where you get the point is where it's white. And I'm getting so sick of people getting smacked in the side of the head and these refs doing it. And they said it was this weekend. And they said USA Boxing thing. Where they get together. They decide who's going to be on all these precious committees. And all this bullshit. And uh, they, they talk about scoring uh, discrepancies. And well, you know, how to make that better. And uh, the weight classes. The age classes. Whether they're going to confirm. Or whether they're going to change something. And they just talked about this. And I am so sick of seeing young people getting robbed 
that are working their asses off and improving. I just I just saw Kurt lean back with that right hand. I'm so mad right now I can't see straight. I love these young boxers out there. They're all uh, my family. They're all mean. That's how I look at it. And I just saw him and he right back on that right hand and was just letting it go like crazy. It was a big difference. He won. Let me tell you something, Kirk. If you watch this, you won that third, that first and that third round. You won the first round convincingly, but only one out of the judges gave even gave that to you. I'm beginning to think, I already know, that when it's a bigger guy going against a smaller guy, they lean subjectively towards the smaller guy. It's like I feel sorry for you kind of thing. But I, 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 I'm knowing now that all my assumptions about location of the boxer has got a lot to do with this mess too. See, you come from a smaller place. Uh, I, I'm thinking it's outside of uh, the Tampa, up in that area. I don't know for sure, but I, I don't know the name of the town very big or the small city. Uh, maybe it's huge, but I, I just don't know about it. It's not not like Miami or Tampa or uh, a place like that. It's not a well-known place. That boy was from Washington, D.C. Now, something is going on here. And it's always been going on. And that's why they had a mark on the goddamn gloves here. To let you know where the strike zone was because they can't never figure nothing out. And it made it more simple for them to score. That that other boy, he did a great job. He did a great job. But you won you won this. You won this. And I'm getting sick of seeing it. I just watched uh, Zeke Castro. They they put out one of the or uh, recently put out an older an older fight he had, or uh, maybe I just didn't didn't see it, but I saw that recently, and that referee's all over his ass for dropping his head, all over him. He won, but you would have you would have thought he was just leading with his head, which is what he kept getting in trouble for, like he was headbutting the other guy or something, which was a bunch of bunk. He's just beating the crap out of the other guy like you just beat the crap out of this guy. So, it, you know, they need to make their damn mind up because are they going to go on the force of the punch? Are they going to go on, is the punch landed flushly? Or are they going to turn it into a slapping? If it was a slapping contest, I, I'm sorry, Kurt, but you lost but it ain't no slapping contest. It was a boxing fight, a boxing match, and you won, and you won easily. You know, it's one thing that you got all this money involved in professional boxing and all this flim flammery in a group of people that run all that junk and control all the money and control the judges and this and that and the other. But let me, let me give the message out here because I'm going to start raising hell over a lot of the things I've been saying. And it's not just you, Kurt. You, you're not singled out. They're doing it to a bunch of people. Uh, you have a tournament over here and half the decisions or three quarters are baloney. You have one over here and it's the same thing. They're consistent in their mildness. I'll tell you that. Very consistent. And it seems to me you got a bunch of malcontents. And from the looks, and I've been years ago uh, to the, the, the USA boxing thing. And uh, trust me, they, they, it's not packed and filled with winners and smart people. And a lot of these people that are judging are not qualified. So maybe we need... Uh, another pool of people 
uh, to judge, and there needs to be more coursework in that. There needs to be a strike zone on the gloves where these judges can see better and understand where they need to be hitting, and they need to make their fucking mind up. Are we going to go on force of punches? Uh, are we going to go on uh, who's moving who back? Or are we going to go on who is scoring the points on on flush, clean punches? We ne they need to make a decision. There needs to be a decision. And as bad as it is in the U.S., it, it's worse here. And that's why we ain't out here running all over the country. But thank God when we do run, people forfeit. And I'd forfeit too because we're going to knock, Joe's going to knock somebody the fuck out. That's the plan. And he's done it to quite a few of them. And I hope he continues to do so. I always instruct him, don't you dare put nothing in a judge's hands. And that's the thing that riles me up more over anything is these judges. And trainers need to stand up and be hellaciously aggressive. Uh, you know what? I'd rather be run out and not invited back. Literally. I'd rather be banned than participate in a bunch of baloney. But there again, I'm, I, you know, I, I must be different. Uh, but I want to tell you, son, you won this match. Uh, people say, well, you get riled up. Uh, of course I do. Well, you're a crazy old man. Well, of course I am. Because I go off of what I see. And when I see bad things that are consistent and there's no change to it, I try to fight it. And I'm going to continue to do so. I don't care who thinks what about me. I could care less because I'm, a, I'm old enough to understand that if I accept it, then I'm playing my part in it, even though if I'm not doing it. And everybody needs to stand up and start feeling that way. Much love to you, young man. Uh, I, could, I could see a vast improvement in your punching power. I could see a vast improvement in your aggressiveness. Uh, and the improvement in, in here and in here paid off because you won. You won. See? So, amateur boxing, I always telling Joe, they'll be prepared to have four or five losses in a row. And don't think about it and just keep moving forward. Uh, because in amateur boxing today, uh, the robberies are constant and full force. And, you know, there again, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm an old guy. So maybe I just don't see properly. Uh, maybe I'm just not understanding the, the new concept going on here. I don't know. But uh, uh, compared to you younger folks, but one damn thing I know, the way I see it, seeing things is way better than the way this generation coming up is seeing them. And this has been going on since time immemorial, uh, this damn bad judge, and it's time somebody stand up and do something about it. Boxing, you know, I can understand this in football, basketball, baseball, bad calls. Boxing takes a hell of a lot more effort, and it's dangerous, and... Uh, the athletes, the young men, have to work way harder. And, and there ain't no off-season for young boxers. So, boy, I'm mad as hell right now. I want, I, I'm going to ask you in front of, I, I'm going to show you all something. Uh, Lord, I'm asking you to really help me be calm right now because I'm, very upset about what's going on here. I'm very angry about what's going on here. And I ask you in front of everybody that watches this video, I pray for justice for these, these young men that are boxing, that, that somehow or another this gets somewhat corrected in a better way because we know it ain't right, Lord. And I know you know it ain't right, Lord. 
and I know it's the way of the world. And, uh, and when I get out of line, Lord, I ask you to forgive me. But, and I thank you, Lord. So, folks, that's what I have to do a whole lot. And I'll do it right in the middle of a busy shopping mall. Uh, we've got to stand up and be vocal about bad things. And especially when they're with our young our young boys and girls and young men and women. We're giving we are giving you younger folks a horrible world. We are giving you a terrible world. We all have taken part in dropping the ball on you guys. So Kurt, I want you to tell you something. You stay strong in the Lord. You keep moving forward. And I'm going to tell you right now, I know what I see. I know what I see in you. And uh, you're only moving up. And... Uh, I'm going to use another bad decision comes out. If if, you, if, if a decision comes out and, and you lose, you know I'm going to be honest with you about that. I'm going to be honest with anybody about that. Uh, but when I see the tomfoolery and the badness and the ugliness of the sport, uh, especially when it's hurting those that I deeply watch and care about, I'm going to be darn vocal about it, and I'm going to raise all sorts of hell about it. And on that, everybody be rest and assured. And uh, I'm loyal. I'm a very loyal person. Uh, I'm loyal to want to do right. And I'm loyal to really seeing that others are done right. So I want to tell you, young man, you did good. You did great. You won that thing. Punch and power drastically increased you're going in the right direction don't think for one second over this because you want this thing and much love to you young man